the in the making right now. Um, we're going to air very shortly about various opinions on Pete Rose's um, reinstatement and the fact that the new commissioner is act, is going to hold um, a few hearings to make that determination very soon. But uh, nevertheless, uh, Rose said, and this is via Fox. Quote, I enjoy talking baseball, and that's what this is all about. Enjoying the game of baseball, sitting in the ga- uh, sitting in the green room, watching two or three games, getting on TV, and talking about it. It's right up my alley, I think. I'm just trying to give back to baseball. Hopefully people will watch, and I'll make some good points that will help them understand the game more. End quote. Perhaps uh, Pete Rose's... Um, appearance on television can help sway those in Major League Baseball uh, for a reinstatement. Now, reinstatement and the Hall of Fame are two separate things. The Hall of Fame um, barred Pete Rose from be, from from votes, from, from receiving votes um, uh, apart from Major League Baseball's ruling. So, Major League Baseball first has to reinstate the guy. So we'll know more about this as the hearings um, begin to take place. There are no dates, by the way, set for this. But Pete Rose um, appearing as a Fox analyst, you know, one of Major League Baseball's prime sources of, uh, of, of, of money, you know, it's their, one of their bread and butter outlets for baseball and television. Um, his appearance on the network is going to go a long way, I feel, with helping Major League Baseball make that decision, even if he's reinstated in a limited role. But the all-time hits leader, who did nothing really to harm the sport other than you know gamble on games um, that were never proven to be fixed or anything like that, and there's no reason to believe that they ever were, um, brings to mind... Uh, you know, of course, the, the 1919 Black Sox scandal, Shoeless Joe Jackson, and all of those uh, colorful characters uh, as part of the Chicago uh, Black Sox scandal. Um, one of the reasons why Major League Baseball has been so harsh on Pete Rose is because baseball has sort of had a history of gambling in the game, and the original suspension was meant to send a clear message to anyone uh, who thought about doing that. A lot of people don't realize that Mickey Mantle and Willie Mays were suspended. Rather, they were banned from the game um, uh, for a short term some years ago because they were found to be connected to a uh, New Jersey, or rather an Atlantic City casino. But that was uh, quickly uh, dealt with and done away with, and they were, of course, reinstated shortly after. Will Pete Rose get the same treatment? Who knows? I really hope he does because there's no reason why the all times, uh, why the game's all time hit leader, you know, shouldn't be able to continue to work in baseball. I think uh, Rose has learned his lesson, um, even though he did sort of, not sort of, but he tried to hide the fact for years and finally came clean. I think he's paid his penance, and it's about time Major League Baseball has agreed to review the Pete Rose case. Nevertheless, good start for Pete Rose as he joins Fox Sports as a Major League Baseball analyst, though not during games. He will appear prior uh, during pregame shows and after games during the postgame show. I'm looking forward to this. I want to see what Pete Rose has to say, and I'm also curious as to whether some of the other analysts are going to make the Pete Rose issue a bigger issue by discussing it during these uh, telegasts in which uh, Rose appears in. Well, that about does it for this week, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to the Week in Baseball and the Big Game James Show. And I'll remind you to tune in every week where we wrap up the previous week and set you up for the next week and then go through all the news that's uh, fit for this broadcast to set you up for this whole season and don't forget to like us on facebook at facebook.com forward slash bgj show that's facebook.com forward slash bgj show and in some breaking news around here we are now a part of the iheart radio family that's right ladies and gentlemen the iheart radio family the deal is done it's all in the books we are now on iheart radio so please look us up on that app 
Uh, give us a listen there and make sure to tell all your friends about it. Big shout out to the to that fan out in uh, Chicago during a Cubs game who caught the the foul ball in her beer cup and proceeded to chug it. I just want to say I'm not uh, not necessarily condoning what went down, but it was certainly memorable. And until next time, reporting for ThinkSlinger.org and the Big Game James Show. This is James F. Thomas IV, and I'll see you next week. Yeah.